So, right student, here we are in the next video of factorization. So here we have got a, a fixed type of polynomial that is quadratic trinomial. That means it will be a two degree uh, polynomial with uh, what you say three terms. And here I've got one more thing to say. Let us keep the coefficient of the square free. And that means it is one. So how to go about such, so, such uh, types? I have done it in four types and we will play one me, one you, one me and one you. But B, don't try to do the sum, try to understand the concept first. Here, the it's, it's actually Ax square plus Bx plus C. The constant term, the sign of the constant term gives a very important hint. If the sign of the constant term is plus, then you have to split in such a way that both the signs remains the same. But the signs remains the same. What I mean to say is that when you factorize by splitting the middle term, this is splitting the middle term. So you get a number, two numbers whose product will be 12 and whose sum will be 7. Always remember that if the constant is having plus sign, that means the sum should come, come the same. So 12x square, I take this up, x square plus 7x plus 12. My first hint is that this is positive, C is positive. So two numbers whose sum is 7 and the sign of those numbers will be positive. The sign of the numbers, the splitting should be having the sum. But sum means what? We can sum on two negative terms or we can sum two positive terms. So this will be plus 3x. Since there is a plus here, plus 3x, plus 4x, 4, 3, 7 and 4, 3 is a 12. So now I take x common, so x plus 3, obviously 4 will be common, so x plus 3, so x plus 3 and x plus 3 that comes common, so x plus 4 is left. So uh, may I ask the other ones, now what to do, here there is a plus 20, uh, so and we have to get 9 over here, so what, uh, what are the two numbers whose product is uh, 20 and whose sum is 9? 5 4 is a 20 and 5 plus 4 is 9 and the sum will be plus 4 and plus 4. What do we mean by the sum? Will This will make it much more clear. x square minus 12x plus 32. In English, if there is a plus minus v and op if we operate with, with them, we call it difference normally. All right. So here there is a 32. So I have to get two numbers whose so sum is uh, 12 and its product is 32. So 8, 4 is a 32 and 8 and 4, 12. Now 8 and 4 sum means what? Minus 8 and minus 4. Once again, I want what I want to really convey is that if this is plus, the sign of the split part will be the same, either plus both or minus both, depending on the sign here. If it is plus here, then plus both. And if there is minus, minus both. So x square, so x minus 8, minus 4 x minus 8 so x minus 8 comes over here x minus 4 so that means you are going to do this now your turn a square minus 19a plus 60 so 15 in 4 is the right answer right so minus 15 and minus 4 so that is that's there right? so you've understood Next we move to next part. Now if there is a, the C is negative, you check, check on this 11a minus 42, the C is negative, the constant term is negative. So the difference should be, the product should be 42 and the difference should be 11, difference. So 14, 3 is a 42 and 14 minus 3 is 11. So now 14a and 3a and minus and 42. So this minus goes here. So what will be the sign of plus uh, which will have plus and which will have minus? The plus sign will be always given to the larger one. Whatever the sign is here, it has to be given to the larger one. So among 14 and 3, which is larger? 14. Now we also try to have smart thinking. 14a minus 3a is plus 11. So we are correct. If I would have put minus 14 and plus, so it will be 11, but minus 11. So that way also you can think. 
now a a plus 14 minus 3 a plus 14 and you get, go a plus 14 and a minus 3 so that's very very important so that's right did you understand so let, let's go to now your turn please th plus 13 and minus 48 so it will be 16 3 is a 48 so plus 16 a minus 3 a plus will be given to the bigger one so larger number so now let us see last a square minus 11a minus it so what happens let us see uh, now this is minus over here so it will be difference so 80 comes in the table of 16 so 16 5 is 80 so 16 minus 5 is 11 so a square 16a 5a 80 now whose sign will be uh, minus the this sign will be given to the larger one a a minus 16 plus 5 a minus 16 a minus 16 we take common so we get a plus 5 that's right so this is how we go ahead so now you must be wondering why uh, to know this uh, this c over here the sign of c we can just try it out in our own way yeah sometimes it's okay like a square minus 80 so Sometimes we say we have to get two numbers whose product is minus 80 and whose difference is minus 11. So that way also you can do minus uh, 16 into plus 5 is minus 80 like that also. But then this technique will help you in sums like this x square minus 2x minus 899. How to do smart work of factorization? Now see when you have a close look and you pause the video now, pause it and try. Pause it please and try on your own. So, now when you play, then you see what happens. In this one, we don't know. We, we have to think, okay, getting two numbers who's, uh, you know, what to do now. But here, you know, the difference should be, uh, the difference should be 2 and the product is 899. That means, so the number should be very close. So, it gives you a hint. 899 is close to three, uh, 900. So 30 into 30 is 900. So the difference to that means let me go back to 31 and 31 and 29 and you multiply and you will get 899. All right. Let us see uh, 31 or uh, 29 and 31. Let us see. 29, 9, 3 is 27, 2, 3, 2 is 6 into 8. So 9, 9, 9. Yeah. So that means uh, straight away it gives you a hint first thing is that the difference should be 2 so the number should be very close and second it is close to 900 so we go to minus 31 x plus 29 x minus 899 so x x minus 31 plus 29 x minus 31 x minus 31 x plus 29 so this is so you take your book and you do a few sums from factorization and you'll be able to solve a lot of questions from there, right?